Hello and welcome to the Ghost Town Chronicles. Today we continue our journey of exploring most eerie abandoned military bases in the United States. Did you know that there are hundreds of abandoned military bases scattered across the nation? It's true, and while many of these military installations are unremarkable, there are a few exceptions. From acres of steel and rust, to haunted ghost stories, these are places you may be too frightened to visit. Number 1. Carlstrom Field, Florida. It was initially established in 1917 as an aviation training base during World War I. Named after Victor Carlstrom, an early aviation pioneer, the field played a crucial role in training military pilots for aerial combat. During its active years, Carlstrom Field served as a hub for flight training, particularly for the Army Air Corps and later the Army Air Forces. It trained thousands of pilots, providing them with the necessary skills to navigate the skies and support military operations. After the end of World War I, Carlstrom Field experienced a brief period of inactivity until it was reactivated during World War II. The base was used for primary flight training, teaching aspiring aviators the fundamentals of flying. However, as the demand for pilot training decreased after the war, Carlstrom Field faced the inevitable fate of many military installations. It was gradually phased out and eventually decommissioned in 1945. The base was subsequently abandoned and left to the elements. Number 2. Devil Slide Military Bunker, San Mateo County, California. High atop California's coastal peak, known colorfully as Devil Slide, are the crumbling remains of a squat cement building that looks as though it is about to tip off the edge of the summit and slide into the sea. The bunker on Devil's Peak was originally built during World War II as a triangulation and observing station and was once simply a piece of a much bigger set of buildings and facilities. When in service, a watcher equipped with a set of binoculars would keep watch out at sea, and if they spotted any enemy ships, they simply radioed a massive six-inch gun not far away which would sink them before they got close. Unfortunately, with the advent of more modern missile defenses, the station became obsolete and the entire site was abandoned in 1949, leaving an empty bunker atop Devil's Slide. The land was eventually purchased by a private owner, but the bunker remained on its lonely perch. The earth at the top of the peak was removed for a construction project sometime before 1970 that was never completed. The bunker now looks as though it is teetering precariously on the summit. The private owner has fenced off the site. Let us know in the comments what you think the future holds for the Devil's Slide. Number 3. Fort Ord, Monterey Bay Coast, California. Fort Ord, located on the Monterey Bay Coast in California, has a rich history as a former military base. It was established in 1917 as a training ground for the U.S. Army during World War I. Over the years, it played a significant role in training soldiers for various conflicts including World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War. Fort Ord was primarily known as a basic training center, where soldiers received rigorous instruction in combat skills, weaponry, and military tactics. It also served as a mobilization and deployment site for troops heading to overseas missions. The base was home to a large military community, with housing for soldiers and their families, as well as amenities like schools, hospitals, and recreational facilities. It contributed to the local economy and played a vital role in shaping the surrounding area. However, as the nature of warfare changed and the Cold War came to an end, the need for large-scale military installations like Fort or diminished. The base faced significant downsizing and ultimately closure in 1994 as part of the base realignment and closure process. The decision to abandon Fort Ord was driven by several factors, including budget constraints, changing military strategies, and the desire to consolidate military assets. The closure had a profound impact on the local community and economy, leading to job losses and the transformation of the area. Today, the former Fort Ord is known as Fort Ord National Monument, managed by the Bureau of Land Management. It has been repurposed as a recreational area, offering opportunities for hiking, biking, and enjoying the natural beauty of the California coast. Number 4. 
Midway Atoll, Hawaii. Midway Atoll is located in the northwestern Hawaiian Islands and consists of three main islands, Sand Island, Eastern Island, and Spit Island. Midway Atoll has a significant historical and strategic importance. It served as a crucial refueling and repair station for ships and aircraft during World War II and the Cold War. The Battle of Midway, which took place in June 1942, was a turning point in the war in the Pacific and is considered one of the most important naval battles in history. After the war, Midway Atoll continued to be used as a military outpost, primarily for surveillance and research purposes. However, with advances in technology and changes in military strategy, the need for a physical presence on the atoll diminished. As a result, the U.S. military gradually scaled back its operations and personnel on Midway Atoll. In 1996, the U.S. Navy officially closed Naval Air Facility Midway, marking the end of its military presence on the atoll. The responsibility for managing Midway Atoll was transferred to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, which now oversees the Midway Atoll National Wildlife Refuge. Today, Midway Atoll is primarily a wildlife sanctuary and a designated National Wildlife Refuge. It is home to a diverse array of marine life, including endangered species like Hawaiian monk seals, green sea turtles, and various seabirds. The atoll is also recognized as a significant site for scientific research and serves as a living laboratory for studying the marine ecosystem and its conservation. Number 5. Cape May Bunker, Cape May County, New Jersey. It was never meant to be permanent, but the massive concrete bunker built as a military structure during World War II is still sitting out on the beach in Cape May County, New Jersey, startling visitors to the area and dismissed as just a fact of life by the locals. The concrete building, complete with walls that measure seven feet thick, was constructed on top of thick wooden pilings that had yet to give out, even if the rest of the structure is in less than ideal shape. Called a magazine by an informational sign that no longer exists, it is assumed that the bunker once held munitions. The marker explained, according to a web page built specific in honor of the site, this bunker or gun emplacement was built in 1942. The round turrets on either side held six-inch guns. The horseshoe-shaped structures which can be seen out in front at low tide are Panama mounts. These were built in July, 1941, prior to the construction of the more permanent bunker, and held four 155mm coast artillery guns. A sister bunker stands across the bay in Lewis, Delaware. When it was built in 1942, the bunker was more than 900 feet or so from the ocean, on high ground. It was covered in sod so as to blend in with the surroundings, which explains why it's not so pretty today, with the sides exposed. The tide has since changed though, and it's impossible to walk under the structure as you once could. The water is always washing up underneath the bunker, which, over the years, appears to be moving out to sea. Number 6. Fort Carroll, Edgemere, Maryland. It was constructed in the mid-19th century on an artificial island in the Patapsco River near Baltimore. The fort was named after Charles Carroll of Carrollton, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. The construction of Fort Carroll began in 1848 and was completed in 1852. The purpose of the fort was to protect the city of Baltimore and its harbor from potential enemy attacks during a time of heightened tensions. It was designed as a masonry sea fort featuring a hexagonal shape with five sides facing the water and one facing land. Despite its strategic location and solid construction, Fort Carroll never saw any significant military action. It remained largely unused and was considered obsolete even before its completion due to advancements in weaponry and changes in military strategies. As a result, the fort became obsolete and was abandoned by the military. Over the years, Fort Carroll had various owners and went through periods of neglect and decay. In the 20th century, the fort was used for a short time as a training site during World War II and later served as a bird sanctuary. However, it eventually fell into disrepair and was left abandoned. Number 7. Loring Air Force Base, Limestone, Maine. Established in 1951, 
It was named after Major Charles J. Loring Jr., a Korean War hero. The base played a crucial role during the Cold War as part of the United States Air Force's Strategic Air Command. Loring Air Force Base was primarily a bomber base, hosting the 42nd Bombardment Wing, equipped with B-52 Stratofortress bombers. These bombers were an integral part of the United States' nuclear deterrent strategy. The base also had a secondary mission of providing support for reconnaissance and tanker aircraft. During its active years, Loring Air Force Base played a vital role in various operations and exercises, including nuclear deterrent missions, training exercises, and deployments. It served as a strategic hub for SAC and housed thousands of military personnel and their families. However, with the changing geopolitical landscape and advancements in military technology, the need for such large-scale military installations decreased over time. As a result, Loring Air Force Base was identified for closure under the Base Realignment and Closure Program. The closure process began in 1991, and the base officially ceased operations in 1994. The closure had a significant impact on the local community, as it resulted in the loss of thousands of jobs and had economic implications for the region. Let us know your thoughts in the comments about what should be done to this base in the future. Number 8. Johnston Atoll, Hawaii Originally discovered by Captain Charles J. Johnston in the early 1800s, it served various purposes over the years. During World War II, the United States military established a naval refueling station on the atoll to support operations in the Pacific. In the following decades, Johnston Atoll played a significant role in nuclear testing and missile defense research during the Cold War. It served as a storage site for chemical weapons and hazardous materials. The atoll also housed a small military population and provided support services for ongoing operations. However, concerns over environmental contamination and the high cost of maintaining the facility led to its closure in 2004. Cleanup efforts were initiated to address the ecological impact of past activities. Today, Johnston Atoll is under the jurisdiction of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, and access to the atoll is restricted. The abandoned structures and remnants of its military past serve as a reminder of its unique history. Number 9. Castle Air Force Base, Merced County, California. It was established in 1941 as an Army Air Corps base and played a crucial role during World War II as a training center for bomber crews. After the war, Castle Air Force Base transitioned to become a strategic air command base, specializing in long-range nuclear bombers. It was home to various bomber squadrons and played a significant role in the Cold War. The base underwent numerous upgrades and expansions to accommodate larger aircraft and support operations. However, with changing military priorities and advancements in technology, the need for large strategic bomber bases diminished over time. Castle Air Force Base faced closure in 1995 as part of the base realignment and closure process. The decision to close the base was primarily driven by budget constraints and the consolidation of military resources. Following its closure, Castle Air Force Base was transferred to the local authorities for civilian use. Today, the former base houses the Castle Airport Aviation and Development Center, which includes an aerospace museum and facilities for commercial and general aviation. Number 10. Bergstrom Air Force Base, Austin, Texas. It was originally established in 1942 as Bergstrom Field and served as a training base for pilots during World War II. After the war, Bergstrom Field was converted into a strategic air command base, playing a critical role in the Cold War. It became a major hub for B-47 Stratajet and B-52 Stratofortress bombers, supporting the United States' strategic deterrence capabilities. Throughout its operation, Bergstrom Air Force Base underwent several upgrades and expansions, including the construction of new facilities and infrastructure to accommodate the larger and more advanced aircraft of the time. However, with the end of the Cold War and changing military priorities, the need for such a large strategic bomber base decreased. As a result, 
Bergstrom Air Force Base was selected for closure under the base realignment and closure process in 1991. The closure of the base was primarily driven by the federal government's efforts to downsize and streamline military operations. The decision aimed to consolidate resources and reduce military spending. Following its closure, the base was transferred to the city of Austin, which established Austin Bergstrom International Airport on the site. Today, the former Air Force Base serves as a commercial airport and is a significant transportation hub for the region. Click above to check out the first part of this video. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. See you next time for more Ghost Town Chronicles.